Hey everybody, it's Chugga Conroy. Welcome back to more Yoshi's Woolly World. Last time, the adventure began to save the lives of our friends who had already been skinned alive. As impossible of a task as it might have seemed, we sure showed Kamek and his magic because we knitted back together Flower Yoshi and do si do Treetop Yoshi. And not only that, but we decided that we were going to save some spelunking for last time, and this time, we're going to save some spelunking for later and not do the spelunking that we were saving right away, going back to Craft Island. I suppose that's the name of Quilty Circle as I dubbed it. And I want to just say that this little nest with the yarn egg in it is so cute. It's a very memorable set piece, and it's kind of the image that immediately comes to mind when I think of Yoshi's Woolly World in particular, even before the Yoshis themselves. It's very, it sticks in my memory for some reason. And you can't tell me, oh, it's just a normal boring ball of yarn, because eggs are represented by balls of yarn. Just ask Yoshi's colon. Going into the Scrapbook Theater, this is the first of many attractions in the main circle of said craft island. View enemies you've hit with yarn balls and listen to music you've heard in your adventure. It is the sound test, as it says on the tin, and it's a bestiary, as it says on the tin. However, as the tin says on its tin, this works a little bit strangely. In order to view enemies, oh, <laughs> his little waddle like he's wearing socks on a slippery floor is <laughs> kind of cute. Never really get to see their animations because they're, well, dead before they get a chance to do anything, but it gives you close looks at these creative enemy designs. Cycles through different animations with the press of the A button. Aw, oh, Piranha Plant's sleeping. No, he's not! He's going on a... Well, not really so much a rampage as it is just shouting at you to get off his lawn and that I'd be in so much trouble if I had legs or if I was in Smash Brothers. His day will come. It certainly will. Yeah, so... The reason why I think this is so weird is that, like it said, you have to hit the enemies with an egg one time to make them appear here. I guess it's like they say, Offspring has more archival prowess than boots. Is that what they say? I really don't know. But I find it strange that it's not enough to just kill the enemy and you have to hit it with an egg in particular. And I've had enemies that I go the entire game without getting their entry for just because I don't. I'm gonna try to get as many as I can, but no promises there. For now, it's time to go Sponge Cave Spelunking. Not saving Spelunking for any more Saturdays. And uh, time for a power badge. Haven't gotten a chance to use one of these. We have 7,001 over seven times what we need to use this. I love me some technicality. I'll use that as an excuse to buy one of these to use what I consider one of the absolute best power badges there is. You'll see why in a little bit, but it's a little bit better than what it sounds like. Wow, uh, I don't see sponge caves or spelunking. I guess we're putting it off even longer than I thought. This here is a chomp rock. Can be pushed from either side, which is what I bet you're gonna tell us. Yes, push this fuzzy rock to roll over enemies, jump on the edge to get it moving if it gets stuck. And the grand rule of all modern 2D platformers, always go left. If that is a direction that has not yet been gone and it is capable of being gone, do it. Boy, there sure are a lot of awkward sayings in the world. These go right through the rocks and uh, they're represented by sponges. I knew that rocks were quite porous, yet this was uh, kind of pushing it compared to what I thought. Push the chomp rock a little bit further. And aw. He's gone. He will not be doing any rolling anymore, except rocking back and forth in there as anybody walks over him. But his, uh, his, he will not be forgotten. He gave his life for our Miiverse stamp. What a sad, horrific legacy. Uh, that up there looks like a rock and roll a pencil sharpener, and I think it actually is a pencil sharpener in terms of what practical effect it's supposed to be. So um, I guess that furthers my thought that that should be an official product. Ground pounding. Turning into a hammer is a quick way to gain weight. Right in the gullet, too. Oh, oh, okay, um, just wanted to make sure there was nothing on the left or the right. I let go of that as fast as I could, and I think I just barely did it by a few frames. Checkpoint, right away, nothing to get from there, and right now, you will see why I think this is such a good power badge. One bump with the noggin, full eggs. I'm not sure why this is the case, but it is. While wearing this badge, all it takes is one little bump, and there you go. Oh, whoa, whoa, uh, 
Maybe this wasn't super wise for this stage, because, wow, that's potentially awkward. Go over here. Get a, get a running start. Nope. Bonkin' like I'm a Mario 64 spinner. There we go, thank goodness. I was actually kind of worried there that I wasn't going to be able to do that. Alternatively, one can throw eggs at an egg basket to produce more eggs. Under normal circumstances, turning two eggs into six is nice because three always pop out upon doing that. I'm trying to be very, very super careful. So much for that. <laughs> Give me that. Boy, at the rate things are going, the next one I throw will bring the roof down and collapse the entire cave. More stampage. And these pinball flippers allow you to go one way, but not the other. Kind of the opposite of how pinball flippers actually work, because you think that they would hit you up and not make you move down, but all right. Uh, new enemies, haven't really gone over them yet. Those are nipper spores and nipper plants. The spores hit the ground, they become nipper plants. If you eat them, you cannot produce eggs. They're one of the very few enemies in this whole woolly world that do not give any sort of egg. Oh, wow, uh, that filled that in and continued on traveling. Yeah, these can be a little bit dangerous on this sort of place, so maybe it wasn't the best place to show it. Uh, great design work there, giving it to us for this stage so players would naturally try it out and see what it's like and then get screwed. It is very possible to destroy too many sponges. Not be able to get everything that you want. Another bundle of wool right there. So far, so good, but my uh, weakness always seems to be with whatever the last collectible in the stage is, so there's still time. Hurt me? Come on! <laughs> uh, this also seems to be a running trend that I don't think something is going to hurt me, and it does. Down you go! Wow, that was cool. Uh, no, whoa, 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 uh, collect that for me. Eggs are able to collect collectibles. As long as you can see it, know it's there, and have a clear shot, you don't really have to walk over and grab it. It's pretty nice to remember, especially when you, uh, when mistakes have been made with which power badge is gone into a stage with. Knew that there'd be something invisible right there because there was a gap. Grab that with my tongue so we don't keep using up that egg. Just got to keep catching them over and over again. Doesn't always seem to pan out. Ground pound! And I trust those designers. They never oppressed me. They always made sure to put something at the end of a bottomless pit whenever there's a collectible in it, except in Donkey Kong Country. And I jumped down many pits not knowing that you could roll in that one. It, yeah. I didn't read manuals, okay? It's kind of a weird history. Uh, all right, going back over here. Give me my instantaneous eggies. I think just for sake of convenience and quickness, this will be the badge that I use a lot more often than not. I should have kept that in my mouth. Another checkpoint, back up to full health. After it was stolen from me by somebody who hadn't even been born yet. <laughs> it's gotta be some kind of record with a hero losing to a bad guy before they've even been born. I'm sure there's some time travel plot in there somewhere or another. And uh, another Chop Rock. I like these things. They're just fun to plow through everything with. And I just realized I haven't hit a nipper plant with an egg yet. See what I... No, 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 uh, Yes, apparently. Uh, no. Uh, no. Well, I hit the spore, if that counts. Uh, whoa! That was so cool! <laughs> it kept ricocheting and hit the block for me. That was neat. I like that. Generally, if there's ever a dead end that a chomp rock is near, launch it in there and it'll show you a secret. That's so cool. I'm happy. Chomp rock can have a worthwhile legacy here today. Uh, gotta knock out all those from under the prezi. Come here. Thank you. Not like I really need to worry. Egg block right there, and if I were to miss, I could always just try again. Thank you. Flower. Bonk. And angles. They are stunning. Banking eggs off of them. <laughs> banking eggs. <laughs> That's like bacon and eggs. Oh, wait, wait. No, you hurt me. Thank you. I appreciate my bad guys. I know that without them, there would be no conflict. So uh, whenever they hurt me in the face, I thank them for it. Whoa, uh, is there supposed to be one sponge block there or did I just get super lucky with how my egg banked around if I even threw one? Come 
on. That. That's going to end the stage more likely than not. Not going over there. Uh, no. Uh-oh. Oh, no, we're fine. We are fine. That's... Five of them, I think the last flower. No, we already have it. I was about to say, I think it's up above, but maybe I'm thinking of something else. Ah, the spelunking was actually quite worth the hype. Pop you. Oh, nope, wasn't able to recollect it if I even can. Oh no. I don't have an egg. I thought for a second maybe I should get one and I didn't. Crud, I don't have any way of getting that unless the enemies respawn. Please. It's always the end of the stage with me. It really is. It can only be me versus stamps and I said that those aren't that important. They're not required for any sort of 100%. You don't get any worthwhile content other than me versus stamps out of them. Not anything that counts. In case you're wondering, Meaver stamps, even though they can't be used for anything, they don't really count for much. They're not going to unlock extra stages for you. They're not going to unlock extra Yoshis. They're just there to be Meaver stamps. There's nothing of value loss, so kind of furthering on why I don't think they're a big deal. Don't worry about them. They aren't. <laughs> Give me some eggs. I think I might just stay under these. Um, one nice tip is that if you ground pound near egg plants, which is what they're officially called, I very much approve, they will always, always drop the maximum number of eggs. Six. Come on. Ah, if I did it just a little sooner, I probably would have gotten them all. Almost 10,000 beads. See what I mean? Just spend beads as it's needed, or even as it's not, because... We're swimming in beads. It's no trouble at all. There's the first round of stamp patches, earning us new stamps. And our congrats for doing so. I like how I was trying to be clever with reading it so I wouldn't have to read all of it, and then I just ended up trying to be cute about how I read everything anyway. Circus Yoshi! You may have only known life as a performer, but I believe that you can do us right in... Big Montgomery's Fort. If this was a certain other boss, that would have been a very applicable... You know what? No. No. Circus Yoshi, your day is another day. Red Yoshi, come on. Because some badge is better than no badge, and there's no other option. Make our yarn balls big. Or all yarn balls big. Same meaning. Right away, top us off, and these lumps in the ground are dead. <laughs> well, I was talking about records, and we definitely saw one of those, too. This enemy died before we even got a chance to see what it was. Monty Moles are what you expect. Burrow around, they can be killed with ground pounds. You can see where they are by the little lumps in the ground. The morphing effect on the cloth slash... Maybe it's construction paper also? A little bit? Not sure on that one. Yeah, it looks cool is what I'm trying to say. Those right there we cannot defeat. The foam is just too mighty for any sort of egg to destroy. The secret pathway in the roof, getting another collectible, and getting yet another collectible. Two right there, one next to another. Of all things for me to have trouble with, it's not the maneuvers there, it's getting inside the door. Two checkpoints. But I'm not greedy. I'll only take one for right now. It's okay, though. I have a kind of funny feeling that we'll be back to get the other one. These are lava bubbles, not potaboos. Kind of one of the most inconsistent Mario-verse enemies that there is. And this right here, I love. Okay, so we got some knitting needles, a platform between them, presumably knitted from them, and it's gravity sensitive. Very clever way of fitting everything together. Just think, when you're above this lava, you are hanging by a thread. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
Oh, ooh. Uh, that's the power of big eggs. I... So by ingesting a shy... Or no, from a shy guy being inside of our mouths, we turn him giant before we're able to spit him out again. The eggs are giant before they're laid, so the lo only logical conclusion to come to is that that badge makes our saliva capable of making things giant. There's a new superpower I don't think Hollywood's tried yet. Little bow, I'm gonna untie you, and I'm going to find the secrets inside of it. Oh, what? Sensitive, very sensitive. Tap A very lightly. <laughs> Some more spools. 3D elements in my 2D platformer are always appreciated whenever they're implemented in creative ways like this. Oh no, oh no, wait, oh, okay. woof. Thought I was going to appreciate it and then not appreciate it so much after a second like usually happens whenever I praise something that is a little bit abstract. That, no bead left behind. I want that. I can't help it. It's part of who I am. Oh, wow, that was a lot easier than I thought it would be to reach. Flyweer! Flyweer? 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 Doing fine, we're doing fine, don't need to worry. There's another spool? Just saying everything weirdly right now, I think I'm just a little bit tense because I keep barely avoiding damage. And here I'll show you a little bit of a trick. Uh, flutter jumping after bouncing on an enemy gives a lot more height. It's kind of sad that that's a lot better than actually having wings as we've been able to demonstrably prove, but it is. Onward we go, getting that other checkpoint, see? Good things come to those who wait, says the guy who's playing on Hasty. <laughs> uh, there you go. And I just realized we need to throw an egg at a Monty Mall before this stage is over. Hello, you showed up right on cue, thank you. I appreciate your corpse serving a purpose for my ends of having a collection of corpses. They run very fast too. Well, if that was hearts, I would have thought that was really funny. <laughs> all right, this room right here. Spinning spikes all around and beads just kind of appearing out of nowhere. To collect them all takes careful timing. Or just having blind luck of being able to collect them in one fell run without having to worry about a thing. Oh no, oh no, oh no, ah. Uh, this device went hard. Health ranking's not super important either. It just sort of hurts when you can't get it, you know? Uh, there you are, had a feeling. Just because you were hard to reach. Generally speaking, if a spot is hard to reach and there's nothing in it apparent. We didn't get it. Oh no, we didn't get a spool. We didn't get a spool, no! I don't care how stupid or impossible this- I don't care how possible this is, we did it! <laughs> I was super worried there that it was in the last room and that I didn't explore it thoroughly enough thinking that I was really good about it and then I wasn't. Uh, again, that's the thing about Yoshi. It is as hard or as easy as you want it to be and it's nice that they do that. And for another cute detail, these egg blocks are actually called egg baskets and they actually are little baskets. It's another added little touch that fits the theming very well. Oh God, thank goodness for gravity inside of cutscenes and now that's not usually a thing but that's just part of what makes this so rad. Not going into the boss with full health, but oh well, we'll manage. Is that you, Yoshi baby? You can chase me, but you're not getting the yarn back. Say hello to Big Montgomery and say goodbye to your chances of winning! The big man we've heard so much about, Big Montgomery. One has to wonder why this castle is named after him if he did not exist until just a minute ago. He jumps out and uh, you don't hit him with an egg, you jump on his head, that's right. <laughs> okay, well, Taking any more damage, I can blame myself. How lovely. Ground pound on his... I don't want to know why you have a band-aid on your butt and I do not want to be the one who with the duty of removing that. <laughs> duty? <laughs> I made it a, 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 a kind of funny without meaning to right there. <laughs> this background is very pretty. It's gonna bounce. Oh. Pound his ass! Thank you. 
gonna have that. Throw it up. Didn't get a chance to show it, but the spaces behind where he stands on the very edges of the screen are completely safe. He cannot hurt you there at all. He's the first boss, so it's not really all that bad and you don't need it. All done already. Over 10,000 beats? You're very hard pressed to not make. Oh no. I did miss a collectible. <laughs> I am never going to have a relaxing time through a stage getting every collectible. I'm All right, well, I guess it's time to redeem myself on that health. For beating the stage, new power badge. Hot Cocoa Yoshi. Funny, I thought he was going to be Dirt Yoshi based on what the theming of the castle was. They're just breaking away from everything that you think it's going to be. Why not? You can be the one to go in and make up for Red Yoshi's mistakes. As for the power badge, it'll be seen at a later time. It was inevitable that a collectible would be missed sooner or later. I just wish it took a little bit longer to happen, but that's just me. It's not like it really matters anyway, because if a collectible is ever missed, a repeat attempt of the stage will be made to go and grab it. As long as it's useful for something, that is. You mean that thing that I ironically said didn't happen actually happened and this room wasn't explored deeply enough? I can't believe it. That's where it was this entire time. Also, Meaver stamps that have already been collected not only appear differently from other beads, they also have a gray icon upon being collected. Yet another way to know the difference if it's a new stamp icon or not. Sheep! Sheep! Oh. Well, that's okay then. After going back for a second round on his bum. He's gonna need a bigger bandage. The color of the Yoshi need not be brought up. <laughs> All right, that is full health, full flowers, and nobody cares about the rest. Not even Nintendo. <laughs> With the first fortress felled, things are finished. I didn't know how to bridge it to finish. There's better ways to do it. Next time on Yoshi's Woolly World, we move on potentially to the second half of World 1. Somewhere in an alternate dimension, things have changed upon beating that fortress. And I think that should get first and foremost attention. See you guys then.